I'm 28 years old. I'm a product development manager at a cosmetics company and I make $115,000 a year. I am 23 years old. I work in political consulting and I make $65,000 a year. We live in Bushwick in Brooklyn and our apartment's about 1,000 square feet. And we're, we're sisters. sisters. Our parents are from Senegal. We lived in Harlem before we moved to Brooklyn about two years ago. Prior to, our parents really wanted us to stay at home until we got married. I think it helped that we moved in together. I pay $1,700 a month. And I pay 1000 and it's proportionate to how much we make. And in terms of utilities, we split pretty much halfway, but Con Ed's about 20 bucks, and National Grid is about 20 bucks for the water and heat. I usually get home around 7 p.m. I try to cook something easy, like our traditional dish, yasa. I'll spend anywhere between $50 to $100 like every other week. And then I only ask my sister for to chip in if we're hosting together or if, if I'm doing like a huge Target haul and we're like, you know, buying cleaning supplies. But other than that, I'll pay for dinner. I travel a lot for work, so after I return from a trip, I'll tend to come home and have cereal or just leftovers from my sister. I spend nothing on groceries because I travel so much and because I'm very lazy, so I don't cook ever. We're really open about our resources, so anything in the kitchen is fair game. We grew up in a house where nothing that's out in public is off limits. Usually when I'm cooking, it's literally a vibe, so I'll turn on my projector, it's kind of dim, and I kind of cook through that. After dinner, I try to catch up on shows, like my favorite Senegalese drama, Port and Mary Shoe. Once I have food, I will join my sister with whatever show she's watching. It's a great chance to catch up if we haven't seen each other for a while. My sister is better at managing money than I am. She tends to think about things five times before she purchases. <laughs> I'll think twice, but I do think in investing in, in certain pieces. My sister, on the other hand, is, is more of a thrifter. She's happy to go to Ikea. Whatever works, works. There's a huge Birds of Paradise plant in the middle of our house, and it's my sister's, and I wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> New York City is so stressful. I just need plants all around me. If it were up to me, this house would be covered with plants. The price tag was pretty hefty, and I couldn't swallow it myself. And then I think I asked my sister for $100 and to this day she won't <laughs> let me live it down. So right after I travel, I always take whatever I had in my suitcase and put it straight in the laundry. Having an in-unit wash and dryer obviously is a game changer. Yeah. It's kind of on your schedule and I just feel clean. My biggest splurge is definitely on travel. Over the course of this year, I have accrued 160,000 miles and they're all from work. I've used about 130,000 of those miles to do personal travel. Whenever I do travel, I buy a shot glass, something that's very common throughout the world and I'll be able to purchase where I am. I spend on average $500 a month on beauty products. Luckily, I'm able to expense it because of my job. I'm a product developer, so I'd have to understand new textures, new formats, new brand launches to make sure that we're competitive on the market. I have a 401k, it's about $5,000, and I have two credit cards. One's mainly for racking up points, and the other one is just to build up my credit. And then I use Acorns, which is an app that rounds up all of my purchases to the nearest dollar, and then invests that, and I have monthly payments to that as well. I do not have any student loans because of federal grants and some scholarship money. I do have credit card debt, but I try to keep it under 15% of my credit card utilization limit. So I have a 401k, I believe, last Last time I checked, it was $7,000. I have two credit cards, both of them accrue miles, and then I do have credit card debt, about $7,000. But I also use my personal credit card for my company expenses. My corporate expenses can range from $1,000 all the way to $2,000 per month. In our community, we have something called a nut. Essentially, there's a group of people that basically contribute a sum of money per week. By the end of the year, you essentially would get the money that you put into this lump sum. My sister and I both contribute up to $400 a month. This is a great opportunity to pay off loans, especially if you have bigger loans, so it's great to have that lump sum kind of given to you at that moment. I do try to set aside $200 every month as part of a tradition to give back to one's parents as much as I possibly can. I don't generally set aside money per month to give back to my parents, but when I do get a bonus from work, I do set aside some money for them. 
I've become better at investing in pieces before I would just buy things that are really, really cheap. Clothes I still don't, I will never pay a lot for. I think she still finds her way in my closet as if we live. I don't. <laughs> yes, I she does. Never been in your I've closet. seen a lot of my investment pieces she'll take, so yeah. My relationship with money is kind of touch and go. I am comfortable in terms of my spending, but you just never know with adulthood, those random expenses that come. So my financial goals are to obviously pay off my credit card debt, but then also save at least three months worth salary. My current savings goal is to have around $3,000 for emergency funds, which I currently do not have any. And overall is to be able to save enough to go to grad school, which I plan on doing in 2020. I've learned from my sisters in terms of what quality means and why it's important to invest in quality products. My relationship with money goes back to my anxiety, just making sure that everyone's good. You know, God forbid anything happens to my sister or even me, since I am the older sister here. My home and my apartment, it represents me. It represents my freedom to be able to find what that means to be responsible through my lens versus my parents' lens.